There is word tonight of consternation within the FBI at FBI Chief James Comey's decision to recommend against prosecution of Hillary Clinton for her mishandling of classified information. Malia Zimmerman, investigative reporter for FoxNews.com, has been digging into this story. Malia, what have you got to tell us? Britt, the split between the FBI and uh, its uh, agents is really between James Comey, the FBI director, Attorney General Loretta Lynch, and the hundred or so agents and analysts and DOJ attorneys who have worked on this case for more than a year around the clock. They believe that there was enough information to charge Hillary Clinton under the Espionage Act for mishandling and disclosing classified information. And they believe that not doing so was based on politics and not on law. What kinds of things are they saying to you? They're saying that the morale is very low and that a lot of them are looking for other jobs. They're very disappointed. They feel like the agency has been polluted. So uh, I think at an, it's really at an all-time low in terms of morale. And they're embarrassed, and they feel like they've been betrayed. Now, they talk to you on the basis of confidentiality, anonymity, correct? Yes, both me and Adam Housley, who's, of right. course, a television reporter for, channel, for Fox News Channel. Yeah. Uh, how much chance is there that any of them would come out and say to you, say publicly what that they've been saying to you privately? Any sense of that? I think if they retired or moved on to another job, which might happen soon with some of them, that they would definitely be willing to come forward. But right now, they're worried about retaliation. They're worried about who's going to be elected. And they feel like whether it's Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump elected, that they could be in jeopardy with their careers. So they're, they're scared to come forward, but they want the information out there that there's a lot of disgruntled agents, analysts, and DOJ attorneys as well. Well, tell me, um, do they cite specific provisions of the law and specific facts that lead them to the conclusion there should have been a prosecution. I mean, a lot of people have commented on this who believe that there was plenty of uh, evidence to support a prosecution. Do they, what do they say specifically about that? Specifically, it's the top secret information, the 22 emails that uh, were mishandled the cl and classified information. I think there was in 2,000 other emails that contain classified information. They feel like there's so many aspects of this case that should be investigated. But the problem was they were hampered from the beginning. You have them not being able to issue subpoenas. They weren't able to get warrants, to execute warrants. They were never allowed to convene a grand jury, which is highly unusual. And they all had to sign these non-disclosure agreements, the FBI agents did. And then you have the five immunity agreements granted with no grand jury. And so they're wondering, you know, what is this all about? This hasn't happened in the past. So there was, there was frustration on a number of levels. And in order to get people to talk to them, they had to issue these immunity agreements and just basically ask for things, like the computers right. that they looked Got into. It. Malia, thank you very much.